be here with the Consul General. I want to welcome the Consul General to our city, Freeholder Angel Estrada, Count, Councilman from the 2nd Ward, Councilman Nelson Gonzalez, Councilman from the 6th Ward, Councilman Frank Mazza, and to all the dignitaries here in celebrating Peruvian independence. I also want to thank Ezio Bustamante of the City of Elizabeth who puts this together every year. Thank you. He's on half a long duty here. He's limping, so. And the independence of Peru on the 190th anniversary, and all of the groups of people in the United States, the cultural characteristics are unique, and when integrated to our system, they will enhance the social and economic fabric of our country. The city applauds all of the outstanding economic and cultural contributions made by the Peruvian population toward improving the condition in our state. And the primary purpose of the Peruvian organizations of Union County is promoting the rich participation of the progress of this country and their progress as a group. The Peruvian community strives to work together for the betterment of a social standard outside their native land of Peru. So as mayor of the city of Elizabeth, I hereby proclaim January 23rd to the 30th as Peruvian week in the city of Elizabeth and ask that the flag of Peru be flown at Top City Hall and also at the corner of Elizabeth Avenue and Broad Street be named Avenida Peru. Viva Peru, viva United States. Viva. Viva. Honorable Angel Estrada, Freeholder of Union County. Honorable Chris Bolwich, Mayor of City of Elizabeth. Honorable Nelson Gonzalez, Councilman Second Ward, City of Elizabeth. Honorable Frank Massa, Councilman Sixth Ward. Honorable Jose Ben Saquen, Consul General of Peru in Patterson, with jurisdiction in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Presidents and representatives of Peruvian and foreign organizations here in the state of New Jersey, members of Peruvians for Progress, compatriots and friends, senoras and senores. First of all, I want to thank Mayor Bowich for allowing us to raise our national flag in front of the main municipal building in Elizabeth. Today, as we celebrate 190 years of our independence, and I want to remember the men and women that are under the orders of General Jose de San Martin gave their life as an ultimate sacrifice so we could be free. That's why on July 28, 1821, it was proclaimed in the main plaza in the city of Lima with the most profound declaration of independence that we Peruvians must remember. From this moment forward, Peru is free and independent by the general will of the people and the righteousness of its cause that God defends. I believe that we have a duty to disclose the work and the merits of our pioneers and the Peruvian heroes who have left behind substantial traces in the history of our nation, Peru. That legacy of patriotism, which invites us to make known to our new generations born abroad, the historical content representing the names of these characters. We refer to Jose Gabriel Condorcanqui Tupacamaru, Jose Olaya, Micaela Bastidas, General Francisco Brunesi, 